Rozanski, President and CEO of the Newport Beach Chamber of Commerce. As you have already heard, Orange County moved into the red zone under the blueprint for a safer economy on Saturday, which allowed for implementation of reduced operating restrictions on businesses and indoor dining at restaurants this past Sunday. The state released the latest coronavirus numbers yesterday, and Orange County has continued the downward trend that has been occurring since the highs we saw in early January. Two of the indicators, the positivity percentage and the health equity metric, both stayed squarely in the orange zone, which is one zone below the red zone where we currently sit. The third indicator, the case rate per 100,000, declined from 6.0 to 4.0, which is up per 100,000, which is significant. It is only one tenth of a percentage point away from the 3.9 cases per 100,000 needed for all three indexes to be in the orange zone. All indications are that by next Tuesday, all three indicators will be in the orange zone. What does this mean? It looks like Orange County will be in the orange zone by April 4th, which just happens to be Easter Sunday. For this to happen, the Blueprint for a Safer Economy guidelines require two things. We need to be in the red zone for at least three weeks before we can move to the orange zone, and we will also have to achieve two weeks of orange zone coronavirus numbers prior to moving to the orange zone. Both of these conditions should be met in time to free Orange County businesses, churches, and residents to enjoy a less restricted COVID safe environment on Easter Sunday. Please feel free to share this video with friends and colleagues. And if you have any questions regarding the latest coronavirus numbers, please call me at 949-729-4404 or visit our website at newportbeach.com. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you'll be sure to receive all of our future video updates. Thank you, wear a mask, and be safe.